Just wanted to make sure that you knew kind of the syntax difference between what you'll see on the video with Mac and what you have in command prompt with your own computer. So what you see here is CD to desktop. So CD desktop will actually work. Um, but if you do CD with desktop being lower, so let's go CD back, CD desktop, it works as well. So the there's no real issue as far as like capitalization in some cases. Um, but then this next one you notice is LS. That's listing out the things within that directory. If you do it, you're going to get an error. Um, and that's because it's not a command that command prompt understands. So what you have to do instead is DIR. DIR is actually a, a more full version to see what's in that directory. And it even tells you directory of desktop and then it shows you all the different things that are in there. So we'll do this example real quick and we will Django admin.py start project MVP landing. Just press enter and it's going to take a second to actually create it. There it goes. So once it's created, we can do a DIR again, and we see in here MVP landing. Um, so that's pretty cool. So now we can do a CD into MVP landing, and that takes us into that directory. And if we list it out with an LS, it's not gonna work. So we have to use DIR again. Um, I do say list it out a lot throughout the videos. So just remember LS is the same thing as DIR on a Windows. Um, and if you scroll up a little bit, you can see kind of what's going on. So with the desktop, when we did it the first time, there's no MVP landing. You scroll down, you see the MVP landing, and it is now there. And it does indicate whether or not it's a directory. So that does mean that DIR in front of it means it's a directory where this Dropbox.lnk is a Dropbox link. So it's a link to the... the um, uh, the program called Dropbox and same with Shopify, excuse me, Spotify. It's a, it's a link to that as well. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions going forward when it relates to windows, just feel free to send me a message, but, um, this is a pretty straightforward way of how you can use the command prompt versus terminal. This is definitely not a windows only or Mac only type thing. Python is its own programming language. So as long as we can install it onto our computer, we can do this, this on anything. I mean, even if there's a new operating system that came out that nobody's ever heard of, if it can understand Python, it should be able to understand all these other things too. Uh, of course, that can't be an absolute thing, but um, as you notice, the compatibility at issues with um, whatever computer you're on I mean, it's not really going to make that big of a difference into how you actually use the class and also Python. Okay, so again, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.